Hello, welcome to Bud's Smart Home. Recently, I was contacted by one of my subscribers and they were asking whether or not I tried to pair the Smart Wings Matter Over Thread shades to the Homey Pro hub. And I had not, but I tried it today and I was successful and it's pretty straightforward. So I thought I'd just take a moment to show you how it's done. First of all, there is a Homey support article that I'll leave a link to in the description below. It discusses connecting a matter over thread device. It says connecting a matter device over Wi-Fi or thread can be done using the Homey web app and the Homey mobile app. And it also goes on to say that there's no need to install apps for matter devices. Homey Pro will figure out the capabilities of the device without installing any apps. So there's a section on the Homey web app, which is the desktop version, and the Homey mobile app. We're gonna use the Homey web app. There's a couple of things that you should be aware of. You need to make sure that your Homey Pro is updated to firmware 10.3.0 or later before using the Homey web app to connect a matter device. And if you're using the Homey mobile app, a couple things to note here, the Homey app should be updated to version 7.1 or higher. And your mobile device should be running, if you're running the iPhone, uh, iPhone operating system 16.5 or higher. If you're running an Android device, it, you should have Android 8 or higher installed on your phone. So uh, the installation instructions are pretty straightforward. Here are the steps. So I'm just gonna show you rather than go through those. Now I just wanted to point out that I do have this shade installed on my SmartThings hub currently. Now if we go to devices, I normally have this installed in my garage and it's this device here, Garage Blind 3. If you go across, you can see here that the battery in this blind is currently at 92%. So with the uh, amount of charge in mind, I'll show you, I've already installed this in the Homey hub. And if I go to devices and scroll down, I haven't changed the name on this. So it's still listed as Smart Wings window covering. And if you look, here's the 91% charge. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that blind. So we're gonna tap delete and I'm gonna confirm that. So it's gone, now it's no longer in the Homey Hub. Now, uh, I wanted to show you before we get started where to find the firmware version. If you're in the web app, you'll click on the settings cog, make sure you're in the general tab. And if you come over here, you'll see the version. I have version 10.3.2, so you have to have 10.3.0 or higher, so I'm good to go there. So let's go back to the Home tab. All right, any of the screens, either in the Home tab or the Devices tab, you can click on this blue plus icon here at the top to add a device. So we're gonna go ahead and add this matter over thread shade. So click on New Device, then click on Homey, then tap on Matter. And then we're gonna hit connect. And it's gonna ask for the pairing code. So let me enter that. Okay, before I tap the connect, I got the pairing code entered in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the blind in pairing mode. To do that, you press and hold this settings button until the blind jogs two times. And then you release the button and this red light, there'll be a red light that comes on here indicating that it's in pairing mode. So let's go ahead and put it in pairing mode. There's jog once and twice. You should see a red light come on here. So now it's in pairing mode. We'll go ahead and hit connect. Searching. It says make sure the matter device is in pairing mode and near homing pro. Connecting. Connecting to thread. And it says adding to Homey Pro. So that quickly, it added this device to Homey Pro. If we scroll down in this list, we'll find the smart, thing, smart wings, excuse me, window covering. 
showing it 91% battery. Let's click on that. You can see the battery. So this is the same blind that's installed in uh, on my SmartThings hub. And if we go to the slider here, it's showing that it is fully open. And if I click on this, let's open it about 75%, or I should say close it rather, 75%. So it's paired and working fine. It's stopping at 75%. I'm gonna move this slider back up to the top so that it's fully open. And there you see it opening all the way. So it's working fantastically, working well. Uh, you may have noticed in here that I have a bunch of devices installed via the SmartThings 2 app. I did a video on this. There's a way to connect all your devices that are in SmartThings to your Homey Hub using a access token. And you get the access token from the Samsung SmartThings website. And then you plug it into this SmartThings 2 app and you can bring all of your SmartThings devices into Homey Pro. You can control them within Homey Pro. We have this lamp here. As you can see, the light is currently on. And if I go to that light, let me find it here, the studio desk lamp. So this is on the SmartThings hub and I can control it in here. Let's turn it off and I'll turn it back on. So you can see it's very responsive. So if you haven't checked out that video, I would urge you to check that out. Maybe something that you wanna do so you can kind of get familiar without having to uninstall your devices from the SmartThings hub and reinstall them back into the Homey Pro hub. So if you enjoyed today's video, I appreciate it if you could give me a like, that would really make my day and it really helps the channel. Also, I'd encourage you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Doing so will make sure that you receive updates, particularly if you click that notification bell so that you're informed of any new content. Hey, thanks for watching today. We'll see you next time.